dear students uh, welcome back to our channel anu computer education in this video we are going to discuss the most important questions in bca first semester programming in c so the first question is operator and uh, writing the c language is nothing but if you get in two marks question you have to write the definition if you get in uh, long answers compulsory you have to write the definition syntax along with the one example program so then only you can get a marks because matter will be very less even if we not mention the with example also you should write an example so that then only they'll get a clarity about the concept okay and uh, the first question is operator means you have to write the definition of an operator so what is an operator an operator is nothing but special symbol so which is used to perform a specific task in c language you know so many operators are there unary operator binary operator ternary operator and conditional operator so all these operators you have to list out at last you have to write one example program on any one of the operator don't write the program for each and every operator and the next is data types you know data types are that uh, uh, type of values which we can store it into the variable so is known as data type so we have so many different types of data uh, data types are there predefined data type user defined data type and as a derived data type and void is also data type so all these data types you have to write the definitions and uh, you remember so when you are writing the predefined data types integer float double so for that you have to mention the data type as memory size and ranges and format specifier is very very important and which keyword you are going to use for that particular data type so the, all these things you have to mention and what is operator precedence you know uh, uh, you know already when we are writing any expression mathematical expression if you want to calculate any mathematical expression so there will be an operator precedence is there which operator you have to give highest preference or left to right associativity or right to left uh, left to right associativity that you have to decide by using the operator precedence for all the operators we may not have the same okay next uh, write about the type conversion you know converting the from one data type to another data type is known as type conversion or type casting so we have two types of type castings are there implicit type casting explicit type casting so everything you have to write with the example program you have to explain and what is variable or identifier you know variables are used to store the value into the variable is known as variable or is also called as identifier so tell me what are the rules we are following uh, variable name should start with an alphabet it should not start with any special symbol uh, no keyword uh, as used as variable name the maximum length of the variable is 32 characters all these things you have to explain about the right rules for writing a variable so and next what is number system uh, you know already binary number system octal number system uh, hexadecimal number system so all these number system you have to explain a theory question okay and uh, when it is comes to the unit number two what is function and explain in detail so it means nothing but functions is nothing but a self contained sub program which is used to perform a specific task uh, you know already in uh, c language the functions are two types predefined functions and user defined function now so, tell me what is the meaning of predefined function predefined functions are the function which is created by the language author so these functions are already created by the author just we need to make use of the function okay and we cannot make any alterations in the function but when you want to create your own function you can create a user defined function in order to create any user defined function three things are very very important function prototype and function call and function definition so all these definitions along with syntax is have right at last you have to explain one example program and remember when you get this function question you may get a function with arrays or you can also get function with structure also so how we are going to use that concept you have to write next what is the meaning of storage class you know we have different types of storage class are there when you get a uh, concept related to storage class you need to remember the important thing is uh, life of the variable scope of the variable and uh, the default value of the variable and which keyword we need to use to create uh, that particular storage class these four points will be uh, there for every uh, storage class but minute changes will be there uh, that you have to notice uh, clearly okay auto storage class register storage class extend storage class okay so all these storage classes you have to write okay and the next come to the conditional control statement so based on the condition some statements we are going to execute some statements we are going to skip so that is the beauty of conditional control statements so we have different conditional control statements are there if statement if if else statements else if statement and switch statements so all these you have to write along with the definitions comes syntaxes you have to write at last one syntax uh, one program you have to write on any one of the concept so when it is comes to the concept of uh, iterative or re looping statements repeating the same statements again and again until the specified condition is true okay so we have there are so many different types of looping statements are there for loop while loop do while loop uh, so all these loops explanation uh, def definition come syntax so you may get a difference between uh, while uh, do while and while 
so while means while is also called as entry control looping statement and while uh, do while is called as exist control so it means in while first we check the condition we, then we will enter into the loop in do while we'll, without checking the condition we will enter into the loop after that we will check the condition ok and while in while statement while, in while while will be first statement in do while while will be last statement in while while does not contain semicolon in do while while contain semicolon so these are the differences you have to remember the minimum number of statements executed in while is zero even the condition is false the statements are not going to be executed but even in, in do while even the condition is false also the minimum one time the statements are going to be executed so that you have to understand the difference between break and continue you know what is the meaning of break uh, break and continue can be used with the switch as well as in the loops so once uh, the compiler encounters uh, these are also called as jumping statements unconditional jumping statements okay and uh, based on the condition uh, so what will happen once the it jump, jumps from inside the loop to outside the loop again it won't continue when you are using break continue means it will it will uh, only ignore that particular values and later on it will be continuing and next come to the concept of call by value and call by reference you know what is the difference between call by value and call by reference when we pass any value to the main function to the user dependent function if any changes are happening in the user dependent function that should not be eff, uh, affected in the main function is called as call by value okay in your call by reference means when we pass any value or argument to the function to the user driven function when if any changes are happening in the user driven function that should be affected in the main function that is called by call by reference that you have to explain with the example that is swapping of two numbers concept is one of the example of uh, this concept okay now when it comes to the unit number three arrays you know array in one variable we can store more than one value but all values must be of same type that is called as arrays we have two types uh, three different types of arrays are there uh, 1d array 2d array and multi-dimensional array you know what is the meaning of 1d array if an array consists of one pair of square bracket is known as 1d array if an array consists of two pair of square bracket is nothing but 2d array multi-dimensional array means if an array consists of more than two pair of square brackets is known as 2d array so in one array for in 1d array there will be only one row in 2d array more than one row will be there it means two rows or three rows or four rows or that depends upon your size you have to specify so for this you have to write the definition of an array and you have to write about all the types of arrays and the definitions come syntax is you have to write at last you have to explain one example program on our 1d or 2d array example and next comes to the concept of write about arrays of pointer so it means uh, not only arrays, uh, point, you know, pointer is nothing but a special variable which is used to uh, uh, store the address of another variable. So, pointer is one of, one of the very, very important topic. The pointer can be applied on the functions, a pointer can be applied on the arrays, a pointer can be applied on the structures also. So, it definitely you can expect one question around this pointer also and arithmetic operations on pointers. So, normally we can perform the addition operation on the variables. We can also perform the addition operation on the pointer variables also. So, that question you can expect in your final exam. And uh, searching. So, it is one of the very, very important compulsory linear and binary search. You can expect one question. So, what is the meaning of searching? Uh, so, uh, finding one particular element in an array. So, that can be done in two ways. Linear search and binary search. We are not only these two. We have some other searches also there. But these two are very, very important. So, linear search means when you want to search any value that has to be searched from what from the beginning okay uh, from uh, first element to the last element you have to search so what is the binary search now whenever you are searching any value in an array we are breaking that array into two pieces okay either you need to search so the okay the midpoint will be there so you have to compare whatever the value you want to search in an array you have to co compare with the mid value if it is more than uh, mid value uh, the, whatever the search value you want to find if it is more than mid value then you, the, your value will be in the second po second portion if it is less than the mid value then you will your whatever the value you are going to find that will be in the first two portion okay that you need to understand next comes to the concept of uh, uh, pointer pointer just now i explained the pointer uh, definition uh, and, and dynamic and uh, static memory allocation this is one of the very very important so at the time of uh, the, generally this is applied on the structures or uh, arrays concept at the time of creating an array, you should specify the size of an array. That is called a static array. So, it means at the time of uh, pro, uh, compilation only, the array size is fixed. Suppose if I am writing into A of 5. So, it means you cre created an array of 5 elements. So, you can store 5 values now. So, all these values must be 
so in future i cannot increase or decrease the size of an array this is called a static array dynamic array means at the time of compilation we are not going to fix the array so it means we are not specifying the size of an array at the time of executing the program so we are giving the size of an array so that is the reason we are saying it is a dynamic array that can be done with the help of malloc and kellogg concept so you have to understand the malloc syntax and kellogg syntax and definitely you have to practice one program on these two concepts so compulsory you can get one question on this okay so when it is comes to the uh, one more question uh, write about the string handling function so you know already different different types of string handling so it means the string if you want to perform the operations on the string handling you need character array okay character array so it means you can convert that array into upper case letters into lower case lower case string str len str u uh, re v reverse means uh, whatever the name you are entering that you want in reverse order or converting the upper case to lower case lower case to upper case okay and the number of letters which are present in an array so all these operation we can perform with the help of comparing uh, comparing the array uh, values okay so all these things we can perform it now difference between structure and union say so very 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 important structure side answers you need to practice and union side also points you practice compulsory either structure or union one question you will get either differences all get so once you learn the differences answer if you get structure what is structure explain with example so you need to write the structure side points if you learn unit uh, union uh, answer is the unit side union answer you have to write so compulsory one question you'll get structure you know what is the meaning of structure it is a collection of storing dissimilar type of values in a single variable uh, so it means it is like arrays only in array one variable you are storing more than one value in structure also we are storing more than one value but in array all values will be same similar type of values but in structure we can store different different values in one variable that is the beauty of structure and union so when it is comes to the enumeration what is the meaning of enumeration assigning the integer constant to the variables okay so it is also called as user defined data types so structure union and enumeration these are all are user defined data types syntax compulsory and program you have to write and uh, file handling concepts compulsory one question you can expect what is the meaning of file so you know text file okay what operation we can perform on the files read operation write operation append operation and you need to explain what is the meaning of file open file open means when you want to perform any operations so first first and more foremost thing you should open the file now without opening the file you are unable to perform the operations okay and uh, what is the meaning of uh, f close function f close function is used to once the operations are done on the file so you have to close the file so by passing the file pointer okay so file pointer syntax you have to understand and you need to write one example program by uh, uh, performing a read or write operation compulsory you have to explain one program so these are all are very very important and uh, last question is write about the files and read and write okay and uh, nested structure so you know what is meaning of nested structure a structure within the structure is known as nested structure so it means you need to create one structure inside the inside that structure you need to create one more structure so that is called as nested structure so this you have to understand so these are all are very very important so i hope everything is clear to you and uh, please subscribe to our channel anu computer education in future what are the videos i'm going to explain uh, upload so immediately you'll get a so in future i'll be explanation videos will be uploaded in our channel so you can make use of that okay thank you all the best for your exam and don't leave any question so attempt all the questions and definitely just write down the definition for each and every question okay all the best